students who are unable to be here today can watch our presentation at a later time. So my name is Brianna and I will be your MC for today. I've had the pleasure of being involved with the Schulich School of Engineering for a number of years. I graduated back in 2016 with a chemical engineering degree and a biomedical engineering minor. During my undergrad, I had the opportunity to get involved with a research lab on campus where I started to work on the development of tools and protocols for the large scale expansion of stem cells and virus products. I fell in love with the field and I returned to the Schulich School of Engineering to complete a doctorate degree in biomedical engineering. I'm a current graduate student here, and I also have the pleasure of helping teach and run lots of your laboratories and classes. So I remember not too long ago when I was in your shoes, and I was so excited to be accepted into the Schulich School of Engineering, but I was also uncertain of what to expect. So our goal here today is for you to connect with us, to learn about what Schulich has to offer, and to get you excited about the University of Calgary community. So there will be a question and answer period at the end of our presentation. However, we encourage you to use the chat function, so that's located probably on the bottom of your screen, to type in your questions at any point during the presentation. So we're lucky to have Jenny, Emily, Connor, and Joe from the Engineering Student Center who will be monitoring this chat. And they can respond to your questions as they come in throughout the entire meeting. So you can find the chat function on your control panel, which should be at the bottom of your screen just below the presentation. When you pose a question in the chat box, it'll be sent to everyone in the event. We want to make sure to answer as many questions as possible, so please send them our way at any time. So to kick off our presentation today, I would like to introduce Dr. Bill Rosehart, who is the Dean of our Schulich School of Engineering. Welcome. Good morning for those in, uh, in a close by time zone. Welcome to the Schulich School of Engineering. We had hoped that we would be showing you around our wonderful engineering complex today in person. And we do very much hope that very soon we're going to be back on campus to welcome you in person. Our engineering programs teach us critical thinking, problem solving, in teamwork. It prepares you to make a positive impact in our communities while you're a student and throughout your career. It's hands-on with our mini maker spaces, which we collectively call the Maker Multiplex, where you can 3D print your designs or projects, build robots, design water filters or solar panel systems for villages in developing parts of the world, or even play music. It's high tech with areas like Zeta, our new digital maker space, where you can work with augmented reality, IoT, microelectronics, and even artificial intelligence. And our whole school is focused on helping enhance your student experience with student and career advisors available now online to answer any of your questions. At the Schulich School of Engineering, we believe engineering is about helping people. That's become even more clear in the last few weeks. Several of our researchers have switched their research programs to help with the COVID-19 response. We have researchers who are inventing new methods to test for COVID-19, some researchers and graduate students are working with private companies designing and creating personal protective equipment for frontline healthcare workers. We have engineers designing and building ventilators, while others are transforming labs to synthesize hand sanitizer. While you are here, I urge you to take advantage of all the student experiences we have to offer. We have students who have designed solar cars, manufactured electrical motorcycles, invented inexpensive prosthetic limbs, and so much more while they study with us. Take advantage of every opportunity within your classes and equally important outside of your classes with our engineering teams and clubs. 
plan on making our paid internship, our engineering practicum experiences, part of your academic experience. So you get the benefit of completing engineering work terms while you're with us. And know that we're here to support you, always. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all in person as you complete your degrees. Thank you for joining us today and look forward to having you a Schulich engineer in the fall. So thank you so much, Dr. Rosehart. So navigating your engineering degree and course requirements has been made easy with academic supports provided through the Engineering Student Center. So this is your one-stop shop for academic advising. The Engineering Student Center is located in Engineering Block C in Room 205. So otherwise we call it ENC 205. So there's many ways for you to connect with the Engineering Student Center. So you can book an appointment online with an academic advisor or simply walk in, of course, when our school is back open. So advisors are also available by email at any time and you can send questions to enginfo at ucalgary.ca. So when you're in your first year, you don't need to worry about picking classes because everyone will be taking the same 10 technical courses. These 10 classes are scheduled into blocks and there are a total of four blocks with set schedules. So you get to select which block you prefer and then you register for all your classes in that selected block. So what's really good about the block system is that you're able to get to know people in your block really well. So it's easier to make friends. So you're gonna to get to travel to all your classes, your labs and your tutorials with the same group of people that you're gonna find a little group to study with and work on projects with. So please do note that you will register yourself and you're gonna be getting an email with detailed instructions on how to do this. So these are the 10 technical courses that every first year engineering student will take. So this is very cool. These provide you your basic maths and sciences, but they also give you an introduction to each one of the majors. So for example, you're gonna be doing introduction basically to chemical engineering, which is ENG 201, liquids, gases, and salts. Now this is really awesome for a couple of reasons. First of all, you're gonna get this broad overview of all the different types of engineering. This is important for you to just know some of the basics of the different kinds, but also for you to know when you graduate who can do what and who can help you with everything. Another really important reason that we do your first 10 courses as a, as a common year is this gives you an introduction to the different types of engineering. So when you come out of high school, we don't expect you to know what kind of engineer you wanna be right away. We barely even know what engineering is. I remember when I came out of high school, I was thinking maybe I want to be a mechanical engineer and work in the biomedical field on prosthetics. I thought this was so cool. And I do still think this is so cool, but in my first year of engineering, I took introduction to the mechanical engineering and I realized I wasn't very good at it and I didn't like it all that much. What I was really good at was the chemical engineering and I absolutely loved it. So this gave me the opportunity to choose that. So this provides all the foundation for your engineering learning. So while you're in your first year, program placements will take place in the middle of the winter term, and you will decide what engineering program to pursue. So you can earn a degree in chemical, civil, electrical, energy, geomatics, mechanical, oil and gas, or software engineering. So you will rank our programs from your most preferred to your least preferred and submit these rankings. We know that getting into your program of choice is important. So we are gonna guarantee your first choice program if you complete your 10 courses within your first year and earn a B average. So that equates to 3.0 out of a 4.0 or higher in those 10 technical courses. So in addition to academic support, Schulich supports you to find relevant work experiences and make you stand out to your employers. 
and more importantly, allow you to apply what you've learned in your classes. So of course, engineering is your applied sciences. So everything that you learn in the classroom, you're gonna be applying in your labs, in your tutorials, and even on work experiences. So I would like to introduce Jenny Kirkshank, who's the Associate Director of Student Services. And she'll tell you more about the work and internship programs offered at Shulet. Good morning, everyone. We're so glad you could join us today. Um, we're monitoring the chat. So if you have questions about this, please do put them in there and we'll try and answer them for you. We have a lot of different ways that you can gain work experience while you're a Shulet engineering student, because we know that important to you is not only your schooling, but also building your portfolio and your career as you move forward. So we want you to build your career while you're studying. The first program we look at is internships. Go to the next slide. Internships are 12 to 16 months long and you complete those between your third and fourth year. There's a lot of benefits to internships. A lot of our students find that they work for the company, they gain knowledge about what they like about working in that environment, what they don't. They also have options. We value flexibility. So students have the choice as to whether or not they work with an organization. It's a real world experience where you interview, select the company, and they select you too. Most importantly, it's paid. So it gives you a real opportunity while you're in your degree, adding a year, but also giving you that opportunity to graduate and afford that fourth year of classes. The next slide talks about our summer work term. This is a brand new program starting in 2020 because we recognize that some students want to do shorter work terms in an earlier phase and not spend a year out on internship. The practicum, the engineering career practicum provides a certificate for you. There are classes that go along with getting you ready in your first and second year for a summer work experience. It's exclusive job board with the engineering practicum includes career readiness training and also just the ability to really get involved in not only your community, but also the environment of career at school. Thanks, Brianna. Awesome, thank you so much, Jen. I had the opportunity to partake in a variety of summer work practicums and internship after my third year. For my internship, I actually worked at a civil engineering company where we made artificial bones that had the same mechanical and material properties as real bones to be used for orthopedic residence training. This was absolutely one of the most rewarding experiences of my undergrad. I'm actually now in California working at a biopharmaceutical company for my graduate student internship. So when applying for internships or summer work, you need to prove that you have the required skills for the job. One of these skills is of course leadership and professional skills that'll help you be noticed by employers. So developing leadership capacity starts by working in teams in your classes, but also engaging in opportunities outside of the classroom, such as the engineering leadership program. So at this time, I would like to introduce Prabhu Dat, who will say more about his experience in the engineering leadership program. So Prabhu is going into his fourth year of electrical engineering and he's passionate about languages and linguistics. In his spare time, he enjoys yoga and cooking. Thank you, Brianna. So the leadership program is a unique opportunity to de develop skills that are not taught explicitly in your classes. There are three different levels, foundation, development, and excellence. I personally just finished the development level that focused on networking, conflict resolution, and difficult conversation. So when I first came into engineering, I had a very archaic sense of what it meant to be an engineer. Um, in today's workforce, it's incredibly likely that you'll be working in a team full of people from different backgrounds, from different professions, and people with different personalities. A lot of people really underestimate um, teamwork as a skill. A lot of people don't view it as a skill. Um, but it very much is something that in order to be successful as an engineer, it's something that you need to learn um, to be an effective team member. And a lot of the things that go under that umbrella are, you know, when it comes to teamwork is conflict management, self-conduct, and taking initiative as an individual team member. I also had, I think a lot of people actually have this misconception about leadership. Um, as an engineer, a lot of people think you're an employee and then you have your manager above you and your manager tells you what to do and effectively you do what they say. Um, but I think what we're seeing nowadays in 
jobs are a lot more entrepreneurial. So you kind of have to take initiative and you have to share your ideas. You have to communicate with your team. You have to have a common objective that you're working for. Because I think what we're uh, discovering now is it's not just about, you know, the manager that's managing everyone. It's about everyone on the team and they have to work to be individual leaders. Um, I would recommend the leadership program because it's, first of all, I've met so many great people from the leadership program and it's also allowed me to complement my studies with my classes. So my classes have done an excellent job of teaching me about all the different technical skills that are required to be successful as an, as an engineer. But of course, in today's workforce, it's arguable that, you know, it's, it's even more important to be an effective communicator than it is to, you know, of, of course, you're going to use your skills as an engineer and you're going to um, you know, design things, but you, in order to actually have your ideas come to life, you need to communicate them and you need to work as part of a team. And that's why I would recommend getting involved with the leadership program. Thank you so much, Prabhu, for sharing your experiences with the engineering leadership program. So leadership programming is only one of the many opportunities available for our engineering students. Another real cool opportunity is to travel during your degree. So of course, when it's safe to travel again, Schulich offers many global experiences for you to participate in. The photo on the left is when one of our group of students traveled to Morocco, where they learned about renewable energy, and of course, rode some awesome camels. And the photo on the right is a group of students on an aerospace tour in California. So studying at the University of Calgary can allow you to have meaningful travel experiences, whether you're from Canada or not. So you can study abroad and earn course credits in another country in the spring or summer semester. I have the opportunity to travel across Canada and the US for a variety of different conferences and competitions and internationally for volunteer work with Schulich. Some of the current group study programs offered at Schulich or Spain through the eyes of an engineer, bio-inspired design in Mexico, and technical electives in Switzerland. However, new programs can be offered in the near future. So you can also travel internationally for shorter periods of time through the Global Engineering Experiences Initiative. So you can travel abroad through Reading Week on a department-specific trip. So here you can volunteer, work on community projects, or enjoy a global entrepreneurship experience. So just this past year, a group of students traveled to Singapore to examine its dynamic infrastructure, and another group traveled to Berlin, Germany to discover entrepreneurial best practices at the Falling Walls Conference. So this time, I would like to invite Ashley Wong to speak about her experience volunteering on a community project in Guatemala. Ashley is in her fourth year of chemical engineering. She's the president of the Chemical and Engineering, Chemical and Oil and Gas Engineering Student Society, and she's also a former participant in the Engineering Leadership Program. Thank you, Brianna. Uh, so as Brianna mentioned, over last fall reading break, myself and nine other students from all different years and disciplines of engineering spent a week in Guatemala. Uh, we volunteered with a nonprofit organization called Mayan Families, whose focus is on education, nutritional and health programs, and economic development of indigenous communities around the Lake Atitlan area. Uh, our group built fuel efficient stoves and installed water filters in families, homes, and various communities. It was really hard labor, but so rewarding to see the impact that it had on improving these families' quality of life. It was a truly a life-changing experience to see such a different way of living and really made me appreciate the things we take advantage of here at home. Also, most of us students didn't actually know each other before going on the trip. So it was a great way to make new friends and interact with people that I may not have met. This trip opened my eyes to the global application of engineering and the importance of using our time and skills to help people when we can. Often in school, you spend a lot of time studying and worrying about your grades, which you should, but at the end of the day, what made my degree so special and memorable was going on a trip like this. 
So I encourage you all to take advantage of opportunities like this at UCalgary. Thanks, Brianna. Awesome, thank you for sharing your Guatemala experience with us, Ashley. So the variety of study abroad and global experiences offered makes it hard to pick just one. And many of our students end up going on two or more treks. Shulik is excited to support your personal and professional development through global experiences, of course, when it's safe for us to do so. So we're now gonna shift gears from thinking about all this fun international travel to thinking about Calgary and one of the many reasons that the Schulich School of Engineering is unique. So we're excited to tell you more about our Maker Multiplex, which is an experimental environment where you essentially get to play. So this is one of my favorite places on campus. It's a series of labs where you can bring your ideas to life using new technologies. So the Maker Multiplex was launched in 2018 to grow the Maker community on campus, and it's open to all you Calgary students. So you have access to equipment and training to work on your own projects. So we have a 3D printer room, a metal and wood shop, sound and robotics lab, a full welding shop, arts and textiles room, and a huge paint booth. So now I would like to introduce Caroline, who is going into her third year of mechanical engineering, and she's a volunteer and frequent user of the Maker Multiplex. She champions diversity and encourages young women to get involved in STEM. She's also the incoming president of an engineering design team called Innova, an organization that promotes biomimicry. Thanks, Brianna. I've been able to take advantage of having access to equipment and training at the Maker Multiplex, especially while working on both the hardware and software aspects of my design projects. After attending some of the workshops that were available, I was able to build smartphone controlled mini bots, print some parts for, um, for my class projects using the 3D printers available, and even finally learn how to properly fix all the broken chargers I have laying around. All the while, I was having a lot of fun picking up new and tangible engineering skills and also connecting with people that have similar interests. I think it's really the perfect environment for trying experimental projects just because it's a completely safe space to try new things, fail, ask for advice, and it's also, fun fact, almost a completely homework-free zone. But mostly the maker spaces I have used just to complete the projects for my Schulich clubs and teams. One of those is Project 90, which runs several engineering projects each year to serve uh, local and global communities. Our project manager for one of the teams, it's called Go Baby Go, and we adapt electric ride on toy cars and design our own accessible vehicles for toddlers with disabilities. I'm also the new incoming president for Renovo, which is the biomimicry engineering design team in which we tackle global challenges with biology inspired innovation and also host a lot of workshops around Calgary to promote biomimicry as a sustainable design process, but also to promote the involvement of K-12 girls in STEM. I personally think that nothing quite puts your engineering education into context as much as seeing the impact it could have on others. And that could take many forms. For myself, it was probably seeing the happy tears in families' eyes when they got to see their kid drive one of the cars that we specially modified for them and gain their first taste of independence, or even when the little girl guides come up to me and tell me that they would now like to grow up to be engineers. There really is something for everyone here. Like, you can build cars, planes, rockets, rovers, motorcycles, you name it, on any of our competition teams. But you can also serve a lot of social causes and communities through the clubs. And you can, event, you can volunteer at any of the events and function hosted on and off campus. And if you have a new initiative in mind, then this is the perfect place to establish it as there's a lot of support in place for that. Apart from developing the technical and soft skills and gaining relevant experience that you can add to your resume, it's also the perfect opportunity to make meaningful connections from outside of your classes. That's how I met some of my best friends from different years and disciplines. Thanks, Brianna. Thank you so much, Caroline, for sharing your experience with the Maker Multiplex clubs and teams. You've done so much cool stuff. So when you're busy being an engineering student, learning about leadership, jetting away from campus on an international experience, and getting involved with a team or club, we want to make sure that you still take care of yourself. So Schulich Wellness is an initiative to support you when you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, and it aims to develop your resiliency. The Schulich School of Engineering wants you to know that we're going to be there for you. So Schulich Wellness supports you with having a positive mental health 
and has dedicated engineering wellness space where you can enjoy some yoga, some meditation, and some pet therapy. So benefits of pet therapy include reducing your anxiety because of course it's very calming to pet a puppy. This wellness space offers stress, offers stress reduction workshops and is also a decompression zone. Here you can just relax, chat with a friend and play a game. So there really isn't very many places on campus where you can find this calm and comfortable environment for you to unwind in. All right, so of course, starting at a new school can be intimidating, but fall orientation can help you with that. So in September, you will join an orientation group full of students from your block. So we're gonna welcome you by giving you your own Schulich scarf. So this is a pretty cool, cool scarf. I think Caroline's wearing hers and it's been a tradition at the school for many, many years. We always wear them to different conferences, competitions. Everyone knows the engineers from the University of Calgary. You're also gonna learn your engineering cheer, a song that most of our students know and you're gonna compete in your first ever engineering design challenge, where you're gonna be given a problem to solve with the team, create a solution to address that problem. This is something you're gonna keep doing throughout your entire engineering degree. So we know it's important for you to meet peers and get to know people in your block, but this is also gonna be a good opportunity to connect with upper year students through the first year mentorship program. So you're gonna be able to ask your mentor questions about courses, your professors, general tips for managing this new course load and anything else that's gonna to come to mind. So we put together a variety of short video clips related to everything that's mentioned here today. So from internships to your engineering leadership, global experiences, our maker multiplex and Schulich wellness. So I really encourage you to check out our website at schulich.ucalgary.ca forward slash u dash at dash ucalgary. So we've compiled these videos for you to view on your own time. And it's really awesome because you see all these things in action. So I'll give you a moment to write down that link again. So it's schulich.ucalgary.ca forward slash u dash at dash u calgary. Okay, so we've actually reached the end of our presentation. Thank you so, so much for being here and connecting with us today. We hope that this presentation has helped to see yourself at the University of Calgary and you've gotten just a little bit of a taste and hopefully some excitement of what your life's gonna be like as a Schulich engineer. So we're gonna take some time now, of course, to address any questions or concerns you may have through that chat box. So we have our student presenters here still online. So if you have any specific questions about the awesome things that they talked about, feel free to put those in the chat box. And we also have Jenny, Emily, Connor, and Joe from the Engineering Student Center. So those are the people who've been rapidly responding to your questions throughout, and they're gonna stay here. So remember, there's no dumb questions. If you have it, others will too, so please add it to that chat box. Go ahead and feel free to stay as long as you like um, to read through those answers. Um, if you have to go now, that's totally great. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any questions in the future that you just can't think about now, please email us at enginfo at ucalgary.ca. So again, please feel free to start typing your questions in that chat box now, and we're gonna stay on and go through those. 